This is No, a truly unique and otherworldly form of Japanese theater. As one of the world's oldest forms of theater, the history here is fascinating and rich, and definitely shouldn't be missed. So I invite you to come along with me on this journey to gain a deeper understanding and appreciation for the Japanese art of No. Hi, my name is Adrian Ruby, and for the past 15 years, I've dedicated my time to studying Japanese antiques, history, and culture. Today, I've come here to Tamba. Located in the heart of Hyogo Prefecture, Tamba is not only a beautiful city to explore, but also has a historical connection with no theater, dating back to the 8th century, when an entertainment performance known as Sarugaku was beginning to prosper throughout the country. As the birthplace of Tamba Sarugaku, the area, in particular style, became one of the country's most popular. The importance of Sarugaku has even led it to be recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage. For the performance that will take place this evening, we make our way to Kasuga Shrine, as no transcends basic theater, becoming a sort of spiritual experience, it is no wonder that many no stages are located within the grounds of these sacred spaces. Kasuga Shrine is no exception. Recognized as an important cultural property by the Japanese government, this simple but refined stage was built in 1861 by Tadayoshi Aoyama, the lord of Sasayama Castle a well-known nobleman, and a lover of no. In order to recreate a more authentic Edo period, no experience, a little wardrobe change is in order. Ah, much better. Now, let's see what goes on behind each performance. Coming face to face with the show's main character, Amabie, I can take in all the details from the beautifully patterned kimono to the hair made from horsetail, and finally the embodiment of no itself, the delicately carved Japanese cypress mask. In addition to meeting Amabie, today I'm incredibly lucky to meet Mr. Ueda, the man who brought this yokai spirit to life with his original no play. According to Mr. Ueda, the style of no we see today was actually formed around 650 years ago, with its origins of Sarugaku spreading nationwide as early as the 8th century. In addition to his love of no from the past, Mr. Ueda is also doing something quite rare in the world of no, as he's created an entirely new work of art, Amabie. <laughs> His inspiration comes from an old tale of an apparition named Amabie, who appeared in the depths of the ocean with pearly scales, long black hair, and three legs to protect the people of the land from plagues. With the COVID-19 pandemic raging around us, Mr. Ueda felt that now was the best time to bring this character to life on stage, in hopes he might offer relief and a prayer to overcome this virus. No plays often recount stories of non-human characters like a gods, spirits, and ghosts, most of them being created to express the people's hopes or prayers to the world of the souls.
it's clear to me now why Tomba is such a special place. Not only is the landscape beautiful, but the people are some of the warmest I've met. Here, visitors are welcomed, traditions are respected, and no is cherished. And I, being lucky enough to come here and be part of it, will cherish it too. It's my hope that this small glimpse into one of Japan's oldest and most valued forms of performance art will encourage you to seek out an opportunity to experience the world of No for yourself.